<laughs> Jesus, there we go. Oh crap. Oh, I'll go this way. See, there's two ways to go on this level. There's crap. This is almost like half walkthrough because I like know everywhere I'm going. So. Yeah, but this is another very atmospheric level. I mean, just the sound f sound effects sound like like the water's dripping and it's very dank and darky, darky, dank and darky. What am I on about? What's still there? Move. Get those later. Whoa! It's like walked on it. I still need to see what this game looks like in um with composite cables, because up until now, up until I got the, the half hour um capture capture device I call it um I've been using standard composite com yeah composite cables for my PS2 and the Xbox and stuff not Xbox 360 um original Xbox but um when I got the the hop hog it came with a component cable that was compatible with PS3 and the PS3 and PS2 video output um video output socket um has is the same so the PS2 it fits into the PS2 and it, it looks so it PS2 on component looks so crisp on an HD TV because that's kind of the reason I don't play PS2 anymore because it just looks so shit on my on my HD TV but it kind of gives me incentive to play it again if I had some new games still the controller like compared to the PS3 controller it just feels so like like the buttons are fine but the analog sticks but I don't know if it's just mine but all my controllers like the analog sticks are so stiff and it really puts me off. I mean, you get used to it, but it's just painful. Whoa, I don't remember there being that many precursor orbs in one spot. I haven't. I, I need to get a component cable for um, Xbox original because I was watching a, a game. Uh, some footage of. Um, an emulator on running on it with a component cable and it looks like it's running on a PC like it looks so good because I mainly use my Xbox original for emulation since it's pretty much just the PC it runs emulators real well and like especially Super Nintendo and NES and all the Pretty much all the consoles below the PS1 era. I mean, PS even PS1 runs well. Com like just since it, even though it's a like a Microsoft product. Nintendo 64 runs all right, I guess. But um, yeah, I was wa I was watching gameplay of Kong Spare Fur Day. Running on it and look, it look gorgeous. Die. So yeah. But they're real, um, I don't know, they're real rare and real expensive for some reason. I mean, I was looking for someone online second hand and there weren't many. But I might as well fork it out because I, I do use it often enough. I mean, I have been playing, um, Original Wixbank, uh, blah blah blah. Erection. Oh my god, did I nearly just say erection? Original Xbox games on it. And uh, don't tell anyone, but um, I'll be getting them, getting them offline because there's like I've bought some, but like all the main like good ones, but there's some real like obscure ones that I have played before and I wanted to play again, like I don't know Wallace and Gromit. And I couldn't find that anywhere, so I had to just just get it offline. I mean, I would buy it, but like, there's not really much of any point. I mean, by the time I pay for postage and stuff. Oh 
bull crap. No! Oh, Christ. Oh, I might as well do the blue eco part. After wasting all my time scaling that beast. Lucky I did do Snowy Mountain, because otherwise I wouldn't. Oh, crap! I wouldn't have unlocked that yellow vent, yellow eco vent. No, I'm not doing that. Do it on the way out. Oh, crap! You kind of have to. Oh, I hate it when it does this. How do you drop? Oh, that's assy. That's really quite assy. Kind of gassy and assy at the same time, you know. Holy hell. I think these... The Jack and Exit trilogy run well. Weller one run a lot better than the Ratchet and Clank. I mean, the Ratchet and Clank trilogy looks better, but there's a lot less bugs in these. They're much more faithful to the original PS2 counterparts. Because I'm, I'm 100% sure the. Oh, that's kind of cheating, isn't it? I'm 100% sure the the Ratchet and Clank games look better, but. They're just not the same. Look at all these orbs, they're everywhere. I need to remember to get those three on there. That was dodgy. I kind of feel like playing Crash Bandicoot again. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've completed the second one. I'm 100% sure I've completed the first one. I think it was 100% as well. But I haven't really played the third one that much. Or Crash Team Racing for that matter. And Crash Bash. So blah blah. Oh, that was close. Crash Bash. So Crash Bash doesn't really count because it's not one. It's not made by Naughty Dog, and two, it's it's like Mario Party. It's, it's a, it's a party game. Just a game filled with mini games. Nothing to do with Crash Bandicoot, really. I remember there was a thing on, um... An ability on the Spyro games, I'm not sure if it was on the second one, it was definitely on the third one. And you held down all, um, four LR, LR ones, and, um, it, the dragonfly and it sparks, and, um, it showed you where the nearest gem was, which is kind of like the precursor orbs in this, and this, they'll be really helpful for this game. Oh, just for this level, really, but... Oh my god! Oh, that was kind of gassy. Giggly, giggly, giggly. I was playing another game recently when that kind of ability would have helped. I think it was Prince of Persia, the 2008 one. It's a good game. Yeah, that. I wasn't expecting it to be that good because it's it deviates heaps from the the other ones but it was it was pretty good for what it was anyway the one thing I didn't really like about it was um not the light seeds which heaps of people didn't like about it because it was it was kind of a collectathon on the Prince Persia game but I didn't really like the the automatic um, parkour kind of thing. It didn't. I don't know. It it just like it it, it looked cool, and it, it felt quite good to use. I kind of feel like I was cheating a bit though. But um, when I was trying to 
Super Sauce Johnson.